courtesy of Screen Rant, shout out to them. Um, I don't know about you guys, but I've seen Infinity War at least about eight or ten times. And I've always wondered, you know, why exactly did MCU Iron Spider armor, why didn't it look like the comic source material? Well, here's some answers for that. Um, now, though Peter Parker does, dons, I'm sorry, dons the Iron Man's, I'm sorry, yeah, the Iron Spider armor in Avengers Infinity War, which is a sick-ass design if you ask me, the design, the design is significantly different than the suit featured in the comics. Why is that? Because everything from the mask to the logo was changed and the creative team behind Marvel Studios evidently had their reasons. Now, alongside other notable design updates in Avengers Infinity War, including Iron Man's Mark L, Mark 50 suit, and Captain America's new Nomad-inspired look, Iron Spider's armor stood out considerably, marrying design elements from both Iron from Spider-Man and Iron Man. Interestingly, the texture is exactly the same as Iron Man's Elite Edge armor, suggesting that the suit is composed of the same kind of now technology. It didn't just serve its functional purpose, but it was regarded highly by fans. However, as well received as it may have been, it still differed greatly from the comic book source material. Now. Marvel's Avengers Infinity War, the art of the movie, is filled with numerous explanations regarding various decisions made during the production of Avengers Infinity War. In regard to Iron Spider's look, it includes some interesting comments from Marvel Studios head of visual development, Ryan Reinerding. Reinerding. Wait, yeah. My, yeah, Minerding. Who explains why the studio deviated so significantly from the comic book design. Ultimately, he wanted to honor both the source material and the MCU version of Spider-Man simultaneously. And I respect that. That's actually pretty damn dope. I love that. People who make a balanced effort. And this is what he said, and I quote, Now, using the Iron Spider as a reference in the comics, I was just trying to bring work in themes that I knew the Russo brothers would respond to. I knew they had always wanted, wanted a red and black Spider-Man suit in Civil War. So I, was going, so I was trying to find a way to turn the Iron Spider from the comics into that. The Iron Spider in the comics has gold bulbous eyes and I felt like I really wanted to hold on to the Romita eyes that we were that we were that we established in the previous suit design. So taking that red and black theme, incorporating some gold, and then trying to keep the same head design, specifically the eyes, was kind of why we landed where we did, end quote. And that and they did a perfect job, might I add. Now in part, mindering minor ding minor ding's choices seem to happen <laughs> simply because Spider-Man is so new to the MCU and by extension that some visual elements, most notably in its distinctive flexing or media eyes, are still fresh and original to audiences. Keeping them allowed, keeping them allowed to transition from Spider-Man's original suit into the Iron Spider armor is like feeling less jarring and more like a natural evolution. Now the gold accents on the suit were added as a homage to the comics. Most dope. Now then here's another thing, and this is one thing I loved about the Iron Spider suit too. It seems there was also a significant debate about how just how many stingers Spider-Man should have. Now in the comics, and I remember reading this as a kid too, the Iron Spider had three extendable units, which Peter refers to as Waldos, which I think is dope too. This was rather odd to us, given that it essentially means Peter had seven limbs, not eight, as, the typical, as it is typical for spiders. It wasn't until the Dan Slot run that, that this was changed, and Minor Bing appears to have toyed with both designs. Ultimately, he settled on four limbs in the final design, which actually just made it so much more sense and more badass, if you ask me. And this turned out to be arguably the most aesthetically pleasing. Damn right it was. So, I look forward to this, man. Like, I look forward to seeing part two, man. This has been your boy, Sherry Speaks. Let me know what you guys see in the comment section below. Uh, if you guys have any requests as to what videos you guys want to do next, please let me know in the comment section below, as always. Make sure you guys hit that like button and hit that subscribe button. I'm out.